Welcome back to another uh, session on inclusive leadership. So we're going to talk a little bit about this idea of unconscious bias and cognitive control. Um, lots of been studies and we'll have a lot of collateral pieces around unconscious bias and how you can uh, find out about an unconscious bias and what do you do about it. Uh, I also want to add something a little bit different because a lot of times we focus on that, but I also want to focus on this idea of this concept of cognitive control. And so some of you may be asking yourself, well, what is cognitive control? Well, stay tuned. So we'll find out in just a second. So our agenda is really simple. We're going to talk about what implicit bias is or unconscious bias, because there's a difference between those two things. Uh, what is cognitive control and uh, what's up with my brain? So uh, unconscious bias and cognitive control. So how many of us have um, a, a, a fear of something, right? So uh, f for me, it's uh, it's not necessarily big hairy spiders, although they fall into a category all on their own. Um, I, I have, an, an, for me, it's mice. And it's not the mouse itself, it's the scurrying of the mouse. I mean, it's just something about the little feet moving, like, ugh. And then, yeah, so, yeah, it's just, ugh, it gets me, right? Um, but, but, so I have this, this, this fear um, that, that for whatever, I don't care what other people think about my little thing, right? I don't care what other people think about it. However, I do have to engage in cognitive control when that happens, right? So, so I have to engage, I have to problem solve. How do I make the best out of this decision or, or not this decision, but this situation so that I can get the outcome that I want? And so that's what we're talking about in terms of, um, cognitive control. And we'll talk a little bit more about why and how in just a second. Um, so in here is another video I want you to pay some attention to uh, in the slide deck um, as, as One an day the supervisor um, The same with this. And so this is what I want. I wanted to get to uh, talking about our brain. And so um, we use the triune brain model to, to kind of think about our, our brain in, in three different ways. Uh, one is the uh, what folks in, in you know, in pop psychology might refer to as the reptilian brain or, or the primary brain, uh, which you'll see there in, um, in, in, in lime green. And in that part of the brain, uh, basic functions exist. So blinking, um, respiration, breathing in and out, um, the need for, for food and, and safety and, and those things are, are there. In the purple part of the brain, which we'll refer to as the mammalian part of the brain, this is where um, emotions live, our, 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 our feelings, uh, the, the, uh, our, our attachments to, to, to folks are, or to things are caught in that part of our brain. Primary brain or reptilian Billion brain kicks in and says, we need safety, we need security, we need belonging. And this is the part uh, of our brain that, that goes after those things. However, the other two parts of our brain also can play a role 